Hey, have you ever wondered what you need to do to start your business planning? Okay, we're heading into 2023. It is a different market. You need to start business planning. So in this video, I'm just going to talk to you about the three key things that you really need to do to get your business plan started, or at least to start the momentum to find the sales that you want. Hi, I'm Coco. I'm your real estate coach and trainer. I'm here to help you get successful in your business and in life. So let's get to it. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look and consider how much money do you need to survive Add a little extra and say, this is how much money I want to make a year. Not necessarily need. You need more than what you need, right? So what do you want? What's your push? What's your goal? Set that. So let's just say that you want to go ahead and you want to make um, $100,000 in any market. I don't care where you are. If that's your goal, make it your goal. Don't dumb down your goal and say that I want to be, uh, you know, I want to make $100,000 a year, but I really can't because, you know, we only make like commissions $5,000 and I have to make too much. Stop it. You can do it. You really can. I see it happening. I coach my agents to do it. I have my coaching program. I have my modern team. I help my agents do it. So you can do it too. All right, let's get to it. So if you have a hundred, if you want to do a hundred thousand dollars, the way you want to look at it, this, you say, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars for the year. We're not going to consider taxes or any of that right now. I'm hoping you added enough to say, look, all my expenses add up to, let's say, um, $50,000 a year that if I made another extra $50,000, even with taxes, I can live really comfortably. So I'm hoping you're considering that and looking into that. If you want to do $100,000 a year, then that means I want you to divide that by 12. Why are you going to divide it by 12? You want to find out how much a month you need to make. That's really important. You need to understand what is your monthly goal? Okay. So if you go ahead and you say, I'm going to do a hundred thousand, I'm going to divide it by 12 months that comes out to, I'm going to round it up to $8,400 a month. Okay. Now, if you're in an area where your commission might be like $5,000, then you can say, okay, well, I need basically a deal and a half a month, maybe two deals a month, make it a little extra, right? Now we can figure out how many deals a month we need. That's really important because if you don't know what, Okay, so I'm going to backtrack a second. I'm going to unpack this for a minute. I coach a lot of agents. I talk to a lot of agents. I'm training a lot of agents, okay? Do you know how many agents that I work with and I talk with who don't know their numbers? I don't know what I want to make. Are we running a business or is this a side hustle, right? If this is a full-time thing, even if it's a side hustle, don't you want to know how much money that you should make a year? Like you want to, like, what's your goal? So we got to start with a big number and get that goal. And then we're going to chunk it down and we're going to get to like what we need to do, the activity, what's going to drive us, our markers. We need to track. Are we on track? If not, we're veering. We're going to get back on. So you really need to have this number, figure out what your number. Now, if you tell me that you're a brand new agent and you want to do a million dollars and your average commission is $5,000, it's doable. I want to encourage you, but I also want you to be reasonable. So if you are like, I, I want to do this, I'm running out of the gates, I'm going to tell you your first year, you can do it if you truly work hard and do it, but do you want to do something more reasonable? So think about that and get your goals down and say, okay, so now I need $8,400 a month. Okay. I make 5,000. So this is the second part of it. You need to figure out what your average commission is going to be. So if you're in a market where it's a $300,000 home and you typically get two and a half percent, you're making $7,500. You're about right there. You need one deal a month or so, right? I always say try for two because then you're making the money plus some, which is always better to be. And it's always good to work for more deals, because I will tell you when it gets to the holidays or like if you're in the East Coast where you get a lot of snow, I'm in California. So you have seasons, right? Like I have, um, I've sold property and I, I have property actually in um, South Lake Tahoe. It snows. It's a really bad time to sell a home up there. It's, it's hard. You'll sell them, but it's hard. So if you're in an area where you have seasons or you get a lot of people who come and buy second homes out there at a certain time, you need a plan that you're going to do more sales during that peak time than other time. You cannot say that I'm going to do two deals a month for 12 months when you know that five months out of the year you can't sell or it's very hard to sell and you don't want to leverage those months as selling months. So keep that in mind. So now you know your, your 
financial goal is $100,000. You know that you need to make about $8,400 a month in order to be able to reach that goal. And now we know that we need about a deal and a half to two deals per month. Now we have to sit down and say, okay, how do I get there? That is where a lot of agents get stuck right? Or I see the other side of it where they find all the nitty gritties, they get in the weeds, but they can't see the big picture. You have to do both. This is where I differ from a lot of other coaches and mentors because I have learned my seven years. I hit top producer in my third year as rookie of the year, my first year. What happened is this, you will find what works for you. So I have a really, 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 really top tier coach. Okay. I believe in coaching. I am a coach. I still have my own coaches. Yes, I do. And it's really important. And when I talk to him, he understands I don't do cold calling. I have crappy follow-up. I'm not the greatest in a lot of stuff, which I'm trying to like fix because I've been really successful. Imagine how successful I'd be if I actually do the stuff that I'm supposed to do. But you will find as you go through all of this, that you like things better than others. There are people who love cold calling. And in my past, careers, I have had to do a hundred cold calls a day. And my boss would literally be there, make your calls, make your calls, make your calls. It was annoying. So if somebody told me you have to make a hundred phone calls, yes, I can. I've done it. I'll do it. But do I want to? No, no, not at all. I don't want to. So I tell my coach and he's very well aware. I don't like doing that. Will you door knock? I actually like door knocking. I think it's kind of fun, but I'm not someone who's going to go out there. Do you want to sell your home? Do you want to sell your home? I go out and door knock and I ask questions or I go because it's like the holidays and I say, Hey, I have bags. I'm donating, you know, I'm part of the chambers and I'm like donating food. Do you want to fill it up? It would help the community. Hi, I'm Coco. Like I go door knocking for that because I like that. I don't go door knock and say, do you want to buy a home? What's your phone number? What's your email address? And they close the door and you're like, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't do that. I don't like that. I don't like when people do it to me. So you need to find activities that you like that, that speak to you. And then you're going to go do it, right? How do you find those, Coco? You might be thinking you have to try. I know, I'm sorry, but you have to try them. So try cold home. And then I get the question, how do you find numbers? And I'm like, if you haven't figured out how to find numbers to do cold calling, cold calling is not your thing. <laughs> because if you're going to cold call, Nothing's going to stop you. Like if you're like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to do it. You will find all the ways to get phone numbers. You will find all the ways to contact people. You will figure that all out. If cold calling is not your thing, you'll know really quickly. How do you door knock, right? That's very simple. You just literally find an area that you like and go door knock. And there's more to it, of course. I would be, I would tell you, be strategic about your area that you're going to door knock. But at the end of the day, you go door knock and you talk. There's strategies around it, but if you don't mind knocking on a stranger's door and introducing yourself, then that's for you. Or you could do social media, funnels, ads. There's so much that you can do. You need to find what activities you can do. But at the end of the day, you have to stay consistent. Did you hear my word? I hope so. Consistent with the actions that you are taking. This is where I find my agents fall short. These are agents I'm coaching. These are agents who have joined my modern team. I see where they fall short. They try for guess what? A minute. It doesn't work, Coco. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. How long do you do it for? Weeks, months, days, once. Don't let the fear drive you on this. You have to make sure that you truly are putting in the effort and doing it. Look, if you're, like I said, you're going to make cold calls and you can't figure out how to find the phone number, then you're already procrastinating and you're already this, it's not for you. It should, whatever you find to do, you should feel it right here. We're like, this is cool. This is fun. Okay. I'm doing YouTube channel, right? Like for me, one, I'm giving back like for you guys. I love coaching and I love training, but I have my business side. I'm not the greatest in front of videos. It was hard to like get going. I'm starting my second month doing my YouTube channel. Here I am making my videos and it was hard and different, but here I was excited. I was like, oh, this is so cool. I edit my own videos. And so what happens is I see my videos and I'm like, oh, that was horrible. Or, oh, don't look like that. Or, oh my gosh, what were you doing? Or that lighting was horrible. <laughs> 
But the cool thing is I still have fun with it. I'm excited about it. I post my videos and I, I'm like looking like someone comment because I want to like see what they think. And it's not like, do you like me or not? It's none of that. It's I'm excited to actually get all this stuff out that I have because for years, I'm, again, I'm in my seventh year top producer in my third, I will talk to new clients I meet. And by the end of the transaction, they will tell me repeatedly, Coco, you have to get out and talk to more people. And I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, people have to meet you and hear what you have to say. I've never been an agent like you, like if they've done other transactions or this is amazing. Like my friend just went through a transaction. They didn't do any of this. So videos have been hard, but I want to get it out and I want to share and I want to do it all. I'm excited about it. It's fun, right? I'm figuring out how to do it. I'm learning and I'm researching it, it, There's a lot to do, but it's fun. You have to find something that gives you that excitement, that gives you that fun, that gives you that, like, I want to wake up every morning and do it. Like that needs to be what you do. And you need to be consistent enough with it that over time it builds. Have you ever heard of the snowball effect? So if a, if, a, if a small chunk of snow starts falling down a big mountain, it's going to accumulate more snow. And as it goes down the hill, just imagine it rolling. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, right? That's the whole idea. There is good snowballing and bad snowballing. We want good snowballing. And what I find is that when you're consistent in the actions that you're taking longer than a minute, you will see consistent results. Time and time again, I have seen it in my numbers. I look at my numbers. I look at so much. When I'm not consistent or I get lazy or I'm just like, I want to do something and I really give up on it, which is really bad. And I still do it too. All of a sudden I see it like three, four months down the road. I'm like, crap, where did my deals go? Where did my business go? Where did this go? Oh my gosh. So when I'm consistent and I'm enjoying it and I'm having fun, it doesn't feel like work. So in order to have a successful 2023, building out your plan, start with knowing your numbers. What is the big goal you want? Break it down by the month goal. Know your numbers dollar wise that you want to earn each month. Then you can break it down from there and know the activity. I, I It's hard for me to tell you exactly how many people to talk to because I have a really high conversion rate. So I don't need to talk to that many people. I can convert most everybody I speak to. So for me, I'm like, I do less. I don't need to have, like, it's so funny. People will be like, don't you have like 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 appointments a month? I'm like, I go on like two, maybe. And I still sell a lot of homes, right? Because when I talk to them, like I went on a listing appointment and I was up against three other agents and I talked to them. I was there. I had a whole conversation, met them once. I got it right. Like I didn't have to do a thousand appointments to get something and I charge more money. So I make more money on the deals, which means I don't have to do as many deals. I want to give more attention to my clients, give them more of a concierge level service. So like there's strategies that you can do that really do help make sure that like you don't have to work as hard or do as much, but I'm not a big believer that your day needs to be hundred percent full. I work 15 hour weeks. I enjoy my life. I see my family. I help my kids with their homework. I do all that. You need to find what activities you really, truly love so that when you are out there doing it, it's easy and you can be consistent. So if you learn nothing else from this video, please listen. Consistency is what you need to be successful. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my video um, and click the bell for the alerts so that you can get notifications on more videos that are coming out. If there's something you want to hear more about or you're interested in, let me know. And as always, I am here to help you. So thank you again for being on my channel. I'll see you on the next video.